Mexico beat city officials are trying to hire a new city administrator. Former city administrator Doug Baber's last day was last Wednesday. News 13's Courtney Evans joins us live in our studio. Courtney, why is the council struggling to hire somebody? Tom, the mayor and council members cannot come to an agreement on the job description. Tonight, the mayor scheduled a special meeting for the city administrator's search, but it was over before it even started. Last Friday, two Mexico Beach councilmen walked out of the meeting about a new city administrator. No progress was made at that meeting, so another was scheduled for Thursday night. But only the mayor and one council member showed up. At this point, we do not have a quorum, so I will be uh, adjourning the meeting. Y'all have a good evening. Miller says she knew beforehand that others would not be in attendance. I was asked literally an hour before the meeting if I was still wanting to have the meeting, and I said, well, you know, the public's been notified, so yes, we need to have the meeting. And I knew it would be short and sweet. She says it only took three weeks to hire former city administrator Doug Baber. It has already been 16 days since he resigned. I'm making a great effort to, to meet with these guys and um, just making sure that we can get together and conduct business. And that's all I want to do. I just need to conduct business. As the mayor, I need to be able to conduct business. People in attendance at Thursday's meeting shook their heads in disappointment as the meeting was adjourned. One resident is trying to make sense of what happened. For whatever reason, which I don't understand, they got up and walked away. This is very disturbing to me. These people, councilmen, were elected to represent us citizens of Mexico Beach. By walking out, in my estimation, it was unprofessional and not ethical. He believes the solution is pretty simple. All they have to do is, and it's not a complicated process, you take the old job description and a new one that Mr. Baber had written up prior to his departure, and then you mix the two and come to a common consensus. The city administrator position will be on the agenda again at next Tuesday's council meeting. Courtney, did you speak to any of those council members that didn't show up? I reached out to council members Jerry Smith, Richard Wolf, and Adrian Welly. The only one who responded was Welly. He said he was on a vacation that has been planned for nearly a year. I was up in downtown Atlanta. All right, thank you, Courtney. Courtney Evans reporting live in our studios.